Well, as the baby boomers swell the ranks of the elderly, the scientific community is turning its attention to the causes of age-related illness. As KPI XY's John Ramos shows us in an original report, the Buck Institute in Novato has become a major player in the effort to find out why the body ages and then how to stop it. So is it the fountain of youth? Not quite, at least not yet. But the research being done here at the Buck is challenging the limits of the human lifespan. There is an air of excitement in Dr. Judy Campisi's laboratory. She and her young research team are studying the effects of aging on tiny worms in a process called senescence. Normally, cells will either continue dividing to rejuvenate tissue or they die. However, senescent cells, seen here in blue, stop dividing, but they don't die. Instead, they begin secreting toxic enzymes that cause inflammation. The tissues begin to show signs of low-level chronic inflammation. And if that goes on for a long period of time, eventually it will destroy the tissue. At about age 65, human bodies begin to develop degenerative illnesses, and Dr. Campisi has been granted $27 million to study if senescence may be causing it. Senescent cells can contribute to virtually all of the diseases that we see go up with age, which is 99% of the diseases you see in the clinic. Things like cancer, Alzheimer's, diabetes, osteoporosis, even diminishing eyesight, they all may be affected by this process. And the hope is that by understanding what's underneath the aging process, the, me the molecular mechanism, you can now identify the major risk factor for all of these diseases. And instead of treating them individually as they occur, you actually are getting to the root core of the problem. The Buck CEO, Dr. Eric Verdon, says the Institute's ultimate goal is to extend the human lifespan to 100 years while limiting chronic illnesses to about the last five years of life. Our goal is to transform everyone in, into a centenarian so that everyone could live to 90, 95 in good health. And they're getting a lot of help. Using mice as subjects, the Buck is joining the Berkeley-based Astera Institute in a $70 million effort called the Rejuvenome Project to understand and possibly halt the aging process. Dr. Verdon says there are even hints that it may be possible to reverse the effects of aging, allowing humans to actually wind back the clock on their bodies. There's a lot of hope and a lot of excitement that uh, we're on the verge of, of really changing the way, the way we will age and, and the perception of how we will age. Just because we can do something doesn't mean we should. How would it affect the world if everyone lived to be 100? It's a question humanity will have to wrestle with, but for now, science is just trying to find out if it may be possible. In Novato, John Ramos, KPIX 5. Now, if you'd like to hear more about the project and the Buck Institute, we've posted our full interview with the CEO on KPIX.com.